Hey guys, what's going on today? Hope everybody is doing well. In today's video, we're going to be looking at some of the newer graphics cards that are out there in the market and that are going to be giving you the best bang for your buck. Whether you're a hardcore gamer or somebody that needs a boost to their workstation, we got you covered with seven of the best picks for graphics cards less than $350. Because I know for many of you guys out there, it's tough to wade through the waters of the graphics card market to so justify which one is the best pick for your needs. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 7. The MSI Radeon RX 5600 XT Gaming X with its absolutely simple, elegant, and performance-oriented approach, the MSI Radeon RX 5600 XT Gaming offers the coolest 5600 XT on the market. With its core temperatures up to 20 Celsius lower than its competitors, MSI really hit out of the park on this one, and it's our pick for the best graphics card for cooling under 350 bucks. Offering the same twin Frozer 7 cooler as our top aesthetics pick, the Gaming X card manages stellar performance at an astounding 56 Celsius core temperature peak under load while only 29 dBA. And it is the coolest RX 56 XT that at least we've ever seen on the market. That's all thanks to the combination of MSI's heatsink with a unique wave fin design, copper base plates, concentrated heat pipes, and tight mounting pressure and their Torque X V3 fans, all providing the best cooling capacity out there. The aesthetics on this graphics card are understated, but elegant, and with a nice little RGB logo that you can customize via MSI's Dragon Center. The brushed metal back plate adds to this look, while also adding functionality, and it even improves rigidity to prevent sag and helps cool the rear PCB via thermal pads positioned in key places. Number 6. The Sapphire Pulse Radeon RX 5600 XT AMD has been a strong competitor in the upper to mid range with their RDNA-based Radeon RX 5000 series cards. Featuring a 7 nanometer architecture, which was based off of TSMC's node and fast GDDR6, they're some of AMD's most powerfully efficient graphics cards. To their most recent release and a stab to the mid-tier market, we've got the Radeon RX 5600 XT. It carries the exact same graphics core as the RX 5700, but with RAM that is cut down to 6GB of GDDR6 so as to make it a more affordable competitor to the RTX 2060. Despite lacking ray tracing support, it is still a solid performer. Coming in at just under our budget, it only takes a few dollars over MSRP and is our winner for the best graphics card under $350. The Pulse is Sapphire's take on Radeon's RX 5600 XT. Sapphire is one of AMD's oldest AIB partners and exclusively produces Radeon cards. The designers are well known for their frigid cooling, quiet operation, rock solid reliability, and premium quality. Number 5. The Asus Dual GeForce GTX 1660 Super Evo OC Edition For those of you that might be on a bit of a tighter budget and don't exactly have $350 to spend, but you still want a good value gaming graphics card, then look no further than the Asus Dual GTX 1660 Super Evo OC. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Memory is 6GB of GDDR6 clocked in at 1750MHz, or 14,000MHz with 14GB of active space, which is a nice bump up from the 12GB of memory on the non-super and even adds an almost 50% effective bandwidth increase. For cooling, we've got ASUS's DirectCU2 dual fan design with direct contact super heat pipes for super fast and efficient heat transfer to the thick 2.7 slot heat sink. Below 55 Celsius, the fans are then turned off, and thanks to ASUS's zero decibel technology, the benefits make it where the lower noise floor gives you a longer life for the fan. Number 4. The Evia GeForce GTX 1660 Ti SC Ultra Gaming Our choice for the best NVIDIA graphics card under $350 is the Evga GTX 1660 Ti SC Ultra Gaming. While the Evga GTX 1660 Ti isn't the very best graphics card on the list, 
it is the best NVIDIA option for less than $350. Emka is one of the most popular producers of NVIDIA graphics card, and it's widely praised for their outstanding customer service, methodical quality control, and commitment to offering the best quality graphics card in the market. The SE Ultra card comes with a high boost clock rate right out of the box at 1845 MHz versus 1770 MHz for a nice bump in performance over reference models. Memory is left at reference clocks, but is still at a respectably fast 12,000 MHz effective speed. The cooling solution features a compact two-fan cooler, which helps to provide great cooling performance and has low noise levels compared to single-fan graphics cards while being compatible with smaller cases. Also included is a backplate for much more rigidity and some passive coolers for the rear of the PCB and its components. For those who want the smoothest gaming experience, the 1660 Ti graphics card supports G-Sync compatibility and a much more budget-friendly adaptive sync monitor. In our testing, the graphics card pulled an average of 135 watts with a peak of 145 watts under full gaming load. We'd recommend a quality 450 watt power unit with a 1x8 pin PCI power connector for minimum. Number three, the Evga GeForce RTX 2060 KO Gaming. Released to go against the RX 5600 XT, the 2060 KO uses a cutdown TU-105-150 KCAI die, which is unique to the model and very different from other RTX 2060s. Experience the most advanced lighting effects available in the gaming industry today, as ray tracing revolutionizes how various shadows and reflections are rendered, and that gives you some of the most realistic environments ever. The embedded DLSS boosts your FPS by initially rendering at a lower resolution and then taking advantage of the tensor cores, letting advanced AI algorithms fill in the missing parts and smooth out the edges, which results in improved performance while not totally sacrificing your game in the way of image quality. RTX Voice has also taken advantage of this AI, though it's still in beta at the time of writing this article. What it does is it takes your mic inputs and separates your voice from background noises, resulting in a much cleaner final audio output, and this is particularly useful for streamers. Coming with a three-year warranty and Evga's stellar customer service, this card offers bleeding-edge tech for reasonable prices. G-Sync, G-Sync Compatible, G-Sync Ultimate, and Adaptive Sync have all been supported to your choice of monitors and endless combinations of other parts for your PC. Number two, the MSI GeForce GTX 1660 Super Gaming X. Building off of the original 1660, NVIDIA takes the same TU-116-350 AI-1408 core chip and then adds an integrated 14,000 megahertz or 14 gigabytes of RAM. The result is the 1660 Super. Despite having fewer cores, the faster memory does give the 1660 Super card enough of a boost to be able to come within 3% of the 1660 Ti's performance, and for a good chunk cheaper. Our pick for best aesthetics card for less than $350 is from MSI. MSI's gaming line has some of the most premium card-built designs on the market, and the GTX 1660 Super Gaming X offers just that. Featuring sleek gunmetal gray design, brushed metal backplate, and RGB, the Gaming X looks as good as it performs. Oh, and speaking of performance, the Gaming X card does come with an out-of-the-box 1830 MHz boost clock and a fast 14 GB of memory. The Twin Foes R7 cooler provides class-leading cooling and a whisper-quiet performance, even while under heavy loads, coming in at only 30 decibels. Whenever it is not in use or maybe on a light load, the Zero Frozor features kick in and stops the fans from spinning below 60 Celsius, which eliminates noise and helps with fans' longevity. Lastly, number one, the MSI Gaming Radeon RX 5500 XT. At the price tag of just $200, the Radeon RX 5500 X can triumph against a GPU that costs twice as much. The RX 5500 XT is built on Radeon's new RDNA architecture with seven nanometer cores. The boost clock goes all the way up to 1845 MHz with a staggering speed of 14 gigabytes. The 8GB of GDDR6 memory can run any game you throw at it with a smooth 1080p resolution. 
And since it is manufactured by MSI, you're gonna get all the good stuff that you would find on MSI GPUs. We're talking about Torx 3.0 fans, an MSI afterburner to optimize, overview, and overclock your GPU in real time. MSI has done an absolutely commendable job with cooling, featuring ample thermal pad 6mm copper heat pipes with direct contact. Pair that with a 7 nanometer chip, and that's not quite power hungry, and you end up getting an excellent GPU that doesn't even throttle on heavy loads. So, there you have it. We hope this list has helped narrow down the perfect graphics card for your needs and budget. If you do end up finding a great deal on a graphics card that we may have not included, then please let us know down in the comments section below, and we'll definitely try to look into making a video about it. Let us leave a comment about any other thoughts about any other graphics cards that you think should have been included on our top 7 list. Thanks for watching, and if we helped you out in any way, please click that like and subscribe button, as well as ding in the notification bell so you never miss another update from us. Until next time guys, we'll see you later.